New Year's Eve. A few years before, or a few hours before the new year. <clears throat> Happy New Year. You know, um, thought I'd also <clears throat> say that I'm happy that I have <coughs> 30 subscribers and um, so I'm thankful, I suppose I'm thankful for at least some of my subscribers. Sometimes I don't know what people are there for. There's at least one or two people I just think, gee, what are they there for? Um, so I just want to celebrate my 30 subscribers. And the new year. Looking forward to another year. Uh, quite obviously. Well, or for anybody that knows me. Um... <clears throat> I suppose we're heading into a real financial problem with uh, the country. And um, people are failing to see that those um, banks and individuals that are causing the problem are um, well, only go so far as you let them go. They don't want to put up with anything more than they have to put up with. The moral climate of saying, hey, I care about my neighbor is, and here's my beer for the new year. The moral climate that we allow is the government will get. When we've got people still say, this is wrong, this is old Rasputin. It's okay, I'm gonna like it better than what I did at first. <clears throat> Expensive beer, for me anyway. When, <clears throat> when we've got people that say, oh, you better not drink, Well, there are certain words you can say and certain words you can't say. And no, I'm not drunk. I just started drinking this when I started this video. I haven't had any alcohol today except for this. Um, there's ungodly <coughs> condemnation. You can't treat people like that. You know, the Bible says love one another. So that's how we're, we're judged as far as our character not judging ourselves and not being judged. But Christians are judged by their character. That character which was flawed at some point for adults must not be condemned by other adults who call, then again, call that Christian. That was not Jesus' business. Jesus, and I got the Bible right here. There's the Bible, or the cover of the Bible. There's the Bible. Jesus was told was a drunkard and a glutton. His first miracle was turning water to wine. And we can't get beyond alcohol. It's a physical thing, not a spiritual thing, that unwise people allow to affect their behavior. Uh, that are not drunk once or, or twice, but are drunk all the time, that live in drunkenness, that are flying on the chemical without consideration for others or for themselves or for God. This is not an impediment, and they call Jesus a drunkard and a glutton, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. I hope, I pray, that your character is better than that. And if not, I hope that it will be. 
there are recommendations in Timothy, I believe it was Second Timothy, where Paul said, go ahead and drink a little wine for your stomach's sake. Where in Proverbs, wine is recommended. Give wine to him who is perishing. It's also said in Proverbs to make the heart glad. It's not a bad thing. Whether it's alcohol or whatever it is, the point is having character. You don't bring people to character by picking on this little thing, which is really nothing at all. Paul says that the kingdom of God is not about eating and drinking. It's not about whether you have pork and say, well, I come from a Jewish background, therefore I don't eat pork. I come from a Christian background, therefore I don't drink beer. It's not about looking your nose. Your nose. Paul makes it clear it's not about looking, looking, you're looking down your nose at other people. So we've got to have character. If you can't get beyond the superficial, then your religion is superficial. And anything is superficial as far as Christianity is concerned is false.